My husband can be so amusing. He was over talking to Yuriko, who is loving our new winter blankets. We're trying to get ready for winter. We've had a very cool summer. I didn't hit 100, I don't think even once. And we've had, we've been cooling off fairly quickly. It's gotten cooler fairly quickly this month and a little earlier. So I'm expecting a very cold winter and bought these really warm, snuggly, fluffy, soft blankets. And the kittens have been loving them. So my husband's over there talking to the kitten, talking to Yuriko and saying, is that your blanket? And I say, I'm getting ready to start. And he goes, okay, well, bye. So hello and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug, I believe my husband got for me on one of the maybe half a dozen trips he's taken down to Florida to do um, culinary stuff down there. I think, I'm not positive. However, it says Florida on it. It shows the Florida state. I do believe I've shown this before. If you go all the way around in the back, We've got sailboats and palm trees and pink flamingos and all the fun stuff. And in our tea cup today is the OT Organic Lemongrass Apple and Hibiscus. Uh, this has a biodegradable um, wrapping. It says it's made for completely from plant-based products. And in our tea is... Lemongrass, apple pieces, hibiscus, orange peels, lemon verbena, and natural flavor. And it's perfect for composting apparently, so that's really cool. And the tea itself is a chunky tea, so I'm kind of hoping it will hold up. Okay, I thought I saw some pink. Yes, we have some pink coming down there. Um, I'm kind of hoping it'll hold up to this really big coffee mug because this is Gotta be at least 12 ounces, possibly 16, but at least 12. Um, and most of these tea bags are usually made for eight. So let's give her a sip and we will go ahead and get started. We are still hot, hot, hot. Got a faint scent of apple, I think. There's apple in there. Okay, I'm not getting apple itself. But I think it might be sweetening up the hibiscus some. Uh, not getting any lemony kind of flavor. But we're going to let that sit like we usually do. And we will see how it does towards the end of our video. So fair warning, our neighbor just got home. <laughs> it just seems to be just my luck. I am filming on a day I don't normally film. I wanted to get a couple of things done. I wanted to get one thing specifically done, today's video specifically done, uh, but something else come up that I'm going to be filming a little when this is done. So I wanted to get a couple things done and make sure I was ahead again because I was ahead for a while. So I've been filming on odd days and we've been having some other things going on on the day I normally film. So here we are. He's home. Just fair warning. You might hear him in the background. That's just, just, just how it is. They have had something going on upstairs so I'm not sure how loud he's gonna get we'll see it's 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 we'll see just warning just have to give you a warning anyway so today we are going to talk about uh, clarifying and treatment days my clarifying and treatment days just for a general uh, general information most women with curly hair clarify and what clarifying does is it removes any build up from your products so most uh, curly haired girls clarify once a month, uh, but most curly haired girls also don't wash as frequently as I do. Uh, they wash at most once a week, maybe once every two weeks. I do know of a few that wait two weeks. That would drive me absolutely bonkers. I have tried to go three days without washing. I can't do it. My hair doesn't tolerate it very well. I don't like the feel of it. I don't like the feel of my scalp, even when I'm refreshing and all that other stuff. So I can't go that long, even on a week when I'm not exercising. And I haven't been exercising much lately. I injured my knee somehow, and I'm kind of 
have to stay off it for the next six to 12 weeks. I am not happy about this at any rate. Uh, so when I exercise, uh, I have to wash um, three to six days a week, depending on how often I exercise because I s sweat scalp. I s sweat on my scalp and uh, no, that's not staying there. We have to wash that out. And when I'm not exercising, I wash two to three times a week. Sometimes I just rinse. Today I did a rinse. Uh, most of the time. So, warning. The neighbor is going to have company. It's likely to get loud. Let's hope we can get through this. At any rate, what I was saying was, uh, even on days, on weeks when I don't exercise, I do have to wash uh, two to three times a week just because... My hair doesn't tolerate uh, not being washed that long, and I don't like it. That's just how it is. Now, uh, I only wash with shampoo once a week. The rest of the time, I use a co-wash that is really decent in getting rid of um, just, you know, um, it helps get rid of some of the gels and stuff like that that I use. I don't use a lot of stuff with dimethicone or anything like that in it. Um, I try very hard not to, uh, or amodimethicone or any other kind of, building silicone that you would have to really uh, use uh, products to um, specifically made to strip them out of your hair. Uh, but the thing is, they do get in there and because it's a co-wash, yes, it's a, a really good cleaning co-wash, I think. It's very gentle. Uh, it doesn't dry out my hair. It does seem to get my hair clean. I doubt it gets everything out because it's not a shampoo. So, but because I do all that, instead of clarifying once a month, I clarify every two months. So I just clarified because we're heading towards October. So the next time I clarify will be when we're heading into December. And that's just uh, a way to get uh, excess buildup, excess stuff out of my hair that has managed to stay there despite the co-washes and the shampooings. And it really does help your hair with bounce and body and all that other stuff because it gets all that out. My husband just tried to help that they are going to be loud up there. <laughs> I know. He's giving you hand signals. There's four of them. Yeah, I know. And they're going to be loud. He shuts the window. We're trying to do what we can so I can get through this. At any rate, let's get moving on. I don't want this to be a 35, 40 minute video. And it shouldn't be because it's it honestly... Um, I don't have a whole lot here to talk about. <laughs> That's a good thing. So at any rate, like I was saying, I co-wash every other month. I co-wash. <laughs> Clarify every other month, going towards every other month. Basically, as we're heading into an even number month, I... Um, clarify. And I find that that time is the best time to do any kind of treatments for my hair. I usually do protein treatments. You can do a keratin treatment. Um, I do attempt to mask once a week. I do attempt to deep condition every now and then. I don't do it as much as I should. You should do that at least once a month as well, but I don't. I'm terrible. Uh, but I do mask at least once a week, usually just once a week, but at least once a week. So those things I'm not quite so worried about, but when you're talking about protein and the other stuff, it's just really nice to have everything else out of your hair for those. So the first thing that I will put in my hair when I am doing my clarifying is this Uidad uh, Heavy Lifting Bubbling Scalp Mask. This stuff is really, really neat. Uh, my only complaint, my only suggestion if you decide you want to try this is do not get it from Ulta. Ulta right now is starting to use... Um, bubble wrap type packages. They're not doing boxes as much. And every time I've gotten this in a bubble wrap, uh, this seal right here has broken. And what happens is this stuff starts foaming when it has contact with air and water. Uh, mostly with, well, I think it, the first time the whole thing came out. I don't think it was bubbling until we uh, broke the seal on the plastic bag it was in. But, uh, yeah, you don't, I I would make sure that you're you're either buying it from the store or um, I would go to the OEDAD site itself if you can purchase from there because seriously, this breaking the seal risks the integrity of the product. And anyway, it comes out like a real pink. They're sealed like this, so I'm not going to open it because I have one open already in the bathroom. It comes out like this thick pink and you're supposed to just put it on your scalp and you leave it in your scalp for about a minute or two, two minutes, I believe. 
put it in until the whole thing is covered. Yes, let it bubble for two minutes and then you rinse out thoroughly. Now what I do find out, find that this does, is it not only uh, takes care of the scalp, but it takes care of the hair that's very close to the scalp. You will feel a difference in your hair when using this. This stuff is neat. I really, really like it. It's a little pricey. Um, Another reason I'm not happy with Ulta putting them in bubble wrap packages, but it definitely does a really nice job on the scalp, and it feels really good, too. So that's the first thing I put in. And then I use my clarifying, because you're supposed to do that first, then you're supposed to wash your hair. So my clarifying is also from Oedad. This is a Waterworks clarifying shampoo with potent fruit extracts, strip residue, not moisture. And that's exactly what it does. As you all know, I have problems with shampoos drying out my hair. And I've had to be very particular about my shampoos. And the clarifying shampoos, a lot of the more drying shampoos, I've set aside if they have betaine in them to use as a clarifying shampoo because betaine gets rid of silicones. It gets rid of amidimethicone and a few others as well, most of the others, if it can get rid of amidimethicone. And anyway, so um, I got this, I think, initially as a sample. And this stuff definitely cleans your hair. Your hair feels clean, not squeaky, not stripped, but clean. And I didn't have any dryness anywhere at all. So if you're gonna attempt to do some clarifying, this would be the shampoo I would recommend. Uh, it does have a laurel sulfate, laurel, and there it has cocoma, something betaine, so it has a few things that will help get rid of uh, buildup on your scalp, on your hair and your scalp. It's a really nice shampoo. It does not dry out my hair. Really, really nice. Now, if I'm doing a treatment, like I said, normally I do a protein treatment. I don't really worry about keratin because um, other products I have have keratin in them. So if I'm really concerned that I need to have some keratin, a keratin added to my hair, I'll just make sure to use one of those products. So I don't do keratin treatments. I do most of my moisture treatments through the month, so I don't need to do anything with that. This would be a good day to do um, a heat cap type thing if you want, because everything's out of your hair. You know, it's just your hair. Your hair is wide open because it's gotten wet, and anything that you want to put in it is going to get in there. Um, I use two products. Uh, one of them I will stop using as soon as I finish using up all my extras. I think I have two of them. And the other one has become my new favorite. Now the thing about protein treatments, there's another one out that is a two-step, and I can't remember what it is. I'll try to list it down below. Uh, but to me, it's a little scary. It seems like it's more for someone who knows more what they're doing, like they're in the salon. It has, um, it basically you're supposed to let your hair harden before you rinse it out and no I'm not doing that <laughs> it's just no I would make a mess of it so I have two other protein treatments that I use one that I'm like I said I'm trying to use up and the other one that I actually prefer to use so the first one that I'm trying to use up is the MCJW inches reconstruction moisture protein treatment I don't know if this is available I know the drenched is no longer really available uh, but I think I've seen this at least in at least in a kit or a set at Sephora. I don't know if I've seen it anywhere else, unfortunately. Which is another reason why I'm I'm discontinuing to use this. If you can't find if it's not easily available, and if someone finds it, they can let me know down below where it is, and we'll see what you know. Then other people can find it. But um, if you can't find a product, then continuing to use it is difficult. And it seems like this came out and went away. The drenched is gone. Uh, the drenched is for co-wash from this line. The drenched, I can't find anywhere. I can't even find it in the kit at Sephora. I can't find it alone at Sephora. I can't find it at all. So um, this is really nice. It does work. It does a really good job. These both, both the products that I use, it's about a 15 minute thing. You put it in your hair, you finish your shower, you sit down for a while, whatever you need to do, and then you go and rinse it out and you're done. Uh, no hardening of the hair, no risking breakage or anything like that. 
and it seems to do a really good job with getting the protein in. However, this is a bit on the expensive side. I think this is a $30 something when you're buying it individually. So not a favorite just from price and the fact that it's a little harder to get a hold of. And I think the other one had some amazing results, at least for my hair. So good suggestion. I really enjoyed it. I still actually enjoy it. I just enjoy this other one better for lots of reasons. And the other one that I'm using now is the book. Botanica Beauty, the Mender Protein Treatment. Again, you put it in your hair, you make sure it goes all the way down to your ends, you leave it in for 15 minutes and you rinse. And done, and that's your protein treatment. After you do that, after I do all that, I go ahead and if, if I feel I need it, I use a little bit of conditioner, not usually anything very heavy, I will usually use a leave-in um, because everything that I use after this for styling will have moisture in it. So this is just to help to rebalance your hair. If your hair is balanced and has enough protein, pull out one of these curls since they're good, you'll have one first, you'll have good curl definition. Second thing is you'll be able to do this, pull it straight and it'll bounce right back. That is hair that is well balanced, well moisturized, well taken care of. Um, this hair is what um, over moisturized hair lo usually looks like. It's just my hair is gray <laughs> and this side just chose not to curl. I always have problems with this side of my hair curling because it has more gray. So your curls will be less defined. They won't necessarily, well if you look here, even here, this one bounces back. So we are well moisturized. We're just not showing off a lot of curl on this side. But I will find that my hair starts looking more like this all over when it's over moisturized. So I think they call it hydral fatigue. Fancy word. At any rate, so that is my treatment day when I actually um, clarify. Now, in between, I do like to um, add just a little bit of protein. I don't want to do a full protein treatment, but on the months that I don't do a full treatment, I do something else. I still use the Oedad uh, for the scalp to clean my scalp. I like to keep my scalp really clean. That helps your hair to grow, keeping a nice clean scalp. I will shampoo as normal. And then I will use Curls and Potions Rice Water Gloss with bamboo and rice water. This has a number of protein things. It's not a pure protein treatment like this one is, but it is a bit, as I knocked everything down. But it is very helpful for in between. It gives you just a little bit of boost. Um, I really like how this makes my hair feel, to be honest with you. It's really nice. So that is what I do to uh, clarify and treat my hair. Those are the products I recommend for clarifying and treatment of your hair. Um, like I said, depending on how often you wash, that would, that would determine how often you do this. Uh, this one says you can use it every couple of weeks. Oh, this says use weekly. Uses uh, for thin, for fine to thin hair, use as needed before shampooing. Medium to kinky hair, use weekly or as needed before shampooing. And so, so this one can be used more frequently. I just choose not to because it's a bit expensive. I just use it, you know, once a month, give or take. And again, once a month. Well, once every other month. So this is my alternate. At any rate, so that is my routine. That is my... Um, products for uh, clarifying my hair to help keep it healthy. Just pay attention to whether or not you have spring back or not. Pay attention to whether or not your hair has gotten mushy or droopy or the curl is just kind of not there. Uh, if your hair feels brittle, it's got too much protein, you don't want a protein treatment when that's going on. You want to make sure to get some moisture in there. Anyway, I hope you like what you've seen. We've got so much hoping going on around here, it's not even funny. We would hope that, anyway, <laughs> I do hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, please hit that uh, subscription button. I can talk, really, I can. It's been a day. Hit that subscription button so that you will be subscribed. And that notification bell so that you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week, Monday and 
Thursday. However, we do have bonus videos. I open indie brands. My son does his My Geek box every month, although that might be changing to a different box. We shall see. And if you send anything, well, that gets opened as a bonus video as well. Honestly, it does. Unless you don't want me to. Just let me know in a note or, you know, join the Dami Tries This Facebook group. It's linked down below. You can let me know on there that you're sending me something, but you do not want to be embarrassed by me opening it on the channel. And I will honor your wishes. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. I'll be honest, folks. I'm still not getting notified on videos that I want to see by mail, by the notification bell. However, hopefully YouTube will fix it and you will be able to get notified, especially since those bonus videos do not go up on regular upload days. If you choose not to subscribe, I would understand. If I had a house, it'd be so much easier. It really would. Living in an apartment sucks, honestly. But I would understand. There's a lot of YouTube out there. There's a lot of people who know more than I do. So you know what? I would understand. However, you are always welcome back here. And if you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Anyway, we have been sitting here. I, I don't even know how long. I had to take a break in the middle. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Short break, but I had to take a break. Anyway, we're going to give her a sip and we will be on our way. It's not bad. I'm trying to decide. Getting more of the apple and I think I'm getting the hibiscus. I'm not getting much of lemon at all. Uh, but lemon sometimes isn't a flavor that they put in so that it is an obvious lemon taste. Sometimes they put it in to brighten up a flavor, a, a type of tea, which may be what they did here. Uh, it tastes really good, but I'm not sure I would repurchase it. Probably not. It's a good tea. If you find it, I wouldn't I wouldn't hold it against you. <laughs> it's just it's a good tea. It just is not one that I would repurchase, I don't think. Um I have others that are probably that probably do a bit better. At any rate, that's it for the day. Hope you have a good one.